Donald Trump has developed a novel business model. He gives out valuable primary endorsements to established Republican officials and wannabe party nominees, and they visit him at one of his many properties paying for food, lodging, and conference space. So far, he's collected at least $1.4 million from the candidates he's endorsed in 2022, according to a Forbes analysis of campaign disclosures. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy has spent the most so far, shelling out $252,000 at Trump properties, 99% of which came between Trump's election in 2016 and the end of his term. Another big spender is Senate hopeful Herschel Walker of Georgia, the former Heisman Trophy winner who played for Trump's New Jersey Generals of the now-defunct USFL doled out $199,000 at Mar-a-Lago in less than a year. Rounding out the top five spenders is a trio of first-time candidates. John Gibbs, who served as Assistant Housing and Urban Development Secretary under Trump and is now running for Congress in Michigan, has spent $98,000. Former Trump press secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders, now contending for governor in Arkansas, dropped $90,000. And Kari Lake, a one-time news anchor at a Fox affiliate in Phoenix, shelled out $70,000 amid her bid to become governor of Arizona. It's likely Trump collected more than the $1.4 million Forbes was able to identify. Some states do not require candidates to itemize their expenses, including South Dakota, whose governor Kristi Noem has made multiple trips to Trump properties.